Hey everyone, what's up? Well, today it is October 27, 2011, so time for a new feeding video, Tarantula Feeding Video 79. Yay! So the teeth have not been fed since Tarantula Feeding Video 78, so I hope everyone knows that whenever you see a new feeding video, that's whenever I feed the teas, regardless of how big or how small they are. So, there's a lot of new teas to feed, especially the ones we got from the expo, like the 5P Camerjai, the Beaver Desi, the Escal, the LV, the T Alum, and the Beaver Desi. So, let's get started. Okay, so this one here is an Acanthus curia Brocklehursti, the giant white banded. You can see how plump and healthy she is. So this is Sasha, a 5-inch female. Alright, so this is an Acanthus curia geniculata, the giant white knee. Very similar to the Brocklehursti I just featured. Okay, let's try feeding Annabelle. This is the Vicularia Vicularia female that I got. The pink toe. Oh, I just saw her attack it. No problem. Wow. And there she is. She's lovely, isn't she? Uh, this is one of my more fatter Avix. Uh, look like it might be in primo, but I'm not really sure. But we'll try anyway. So this is the Ecuadorian woolly pink toe. Anna and I guess she's not. Huh. Well, the hairs kind of really give it away that it might be in pre-molt. But she's eating. She's good. So definitely healthy. Looks like an awesome either though. Look how fluffy she is with all the hairs. Awesome. Ooh, nice. This one here is an Avicularia Leda, the Puerto Rican pink toe. It's my only surviving A Leda and coincidentally my only Avixling that I have. Now this one here is an Avicularia Urticans, the giant Peru pink toe. One of my more meaner ones. Uh, cat. Yep, no problem. Yeah, she's very hairy for an Avic. And this is my last Avic I have. This one here is a Vicularia Versicolor, the Antilles Pink Toe. There we go. Sorry, you won't be able to see it very clearly. Giving like a threat posture. Sweet. Alright, so now to my brachypelmas now. This one here is the brachypelma albiceps, the Mexican gold red rump. I have a quite a few brachypelmas. Uh, so let's see if she'll eat. Uh, Stacy, five inch female. Good girl. Alright, let's try my beer ratum, the Mexican flame knee. Uh, this is the male. And we'll try the female. My beer buffalo some more inch in the eating, so I don't usually record stuff that I don't eat. Oh, nice. There we go. Now let's try the little girl there. Now I'm going to show you my Brachypalma Bomi, the Mexican Fireleg. That's an adult and that's a juvenile, both females. So let's start with the juvenile first. It's Melina. No, okay, I guess not interested. <sighs> Yeah, this is our very typical that you're going to see in these bomies. Okay, so now that Melina wasn't interested, uh, Katana's probably is. She's an older female.
Good girl. Here is a gorgeous Brachypelma. This one here is a Classy, which is the Mexican pink. Petunia. Here's Athena, Brachypalma Smithy, the Mexican Red Knee. And here's Scarlet, my other Smithy female. I try to not get my Brachypalma's bald spots, but they do. It's uh, common for this uh, genus to kick hairs. I bet she has got a monstrous appetite. Cool. Alright, let's try my newly molted bee wagons. She molted last week. Wow, did you see that? Holy... That was... Intense. <laughs> Alright, here's my big adult bee wagons. That little sling will become this big. Probably in a few years. So let's we'll see how well she'll eat. She'll probably be a lot slower. And that sling. Nice. That's a big bee wagon, sir. Here's a tea that you probably have long since seen in my channel. This is uh, Mexican Fantasy. It's a hybrid species of a Brachypalma Vagans and Verdesi. Speaking of Verdesi, that's the next one I'll feed. Let's see how well uh, this one will eat. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, from all these superworms, I think she had enough of them and I'm trying to give crickets now. You could probably make out the black triangle on the carapace. A beaver desi will look exactly like that. Speaking of which, let's do this one now. Alright, here's my latest expo edition, the Brachypelma verdesi, the Mexican rose gray. There, that was a big cricket there. Attacked it, no problem. Alright, this one here is a Saratodaris Marshali, the straight horned baboon. Marsha. Oh, you can hear the stridulation going on there. I love what you did with her home. All right, here's Julin, uh, C. guanciensis, Chinese fawn. Ooh, she turned pretty quickly. There we go. Nice. Yeah, it's a kilobrachys. A lot of webs there. All right, time for mystery, the unknown species. Still have not changed my labels because um, I got people debating that this is not actually C. Livingstoni. This could be a Phonopalma Curinifurum, right? So that's the Livingston's tarantula near uh, Guatemala. But happy, she's still healthy. Yep, yeah, still doing well in my care. Let's try my mature female GBB, Chromatopalma cyanopubescens. There we go, good girl Valencia. Yeah, that's the one that just hates superworms and looks like I actually got her interested in them. Here's my Circopacus shorty, the Malaysian earth tiger. She's actually getting larger now. Uh, this is that uh, Adrian. It's 
see if she's interested. There. Uh, I think she got it. Looks like it. Yep. Alright, now for the Ophilopus. I have a Rufescence here. That's a Burgundy Skeleton, Renee. Alright, I'll give you an update on my Upalostress Camper Stratus, the Pink Sea for Beauty. This is possibly the first tarantula that I ever bought from Tarantula Canada. As a one and a half inch female. Let's look at the size of her now. She's around four inches. Extremely healthy. And looks like she's not interested in the worm. Cool. Alright, next one. Alright, here's Ebony, Gramostola pulchra, Brazilian black. This is my big old female. Alright, let's try. Ah, oh, there she goes. Nice. Alright, let's try Roy, her future husband. This is a juvenile male. No problem. See, these are one of the few Gramostolas that actually do have good appetites. Poker peas and Rosea generally don't have the greatest ones. And this is probably why you don't see very many of my feeding videos. Alright, cool. And speaking of which, Gramostola poker peas now. The Chiaco Goldeny, formerly Gramostola Arius Triata. The old name. Alright. Huh. Huh. Peach just defied my statement there. Saying that chocolates aren't great eaters. At least she's the one. Here's Wendy. Another female. Oh, I guess I really should take back my statement there. Saying that chocos aren't great eaters, but they are. At least Charlotte's not, but she's in pre molt. Alright, next is Talia, the Gramasola Rosea rose hair. Perfect. Alright, this is a G Rosea red morph. Um, there we go. Bloom, or I'll have to change his name. Pretty cool. All right, right over here is my Hedescarja maculata, the Toker Starburst baboon. Uh, Grishina. There we go. I want you to see the colors and beauty of the specimen right over here. I mean, that's just a pretty tea. One of my more favorite arboreal baboons. And uh, you did a very bad thing, girl. Alright, this happens once in a while. Just scoop her in there, just very gently. Just push her away. That's it. Itch Max aren't all that bad. Alright, Holotheli Incy, the Trinidad Olive. I think she's hungry. And yeah, that was quick. Everyone's favorite, the Terror the Terrible Black Trapdoor. Beautiful. Alright, Lampropoma Valaciopes, the Singapore Blue. Uh, this is the special gift from Amazon One.
All my crickets are way too big for a sling this size. <laughs> wow. Victory. All right, so Lassidora difficilis, the fire red bird eater. And it's 9.47 a.m. Good girl, Dora. Alrighty, no wonder my Fracta would not eat. You can right away tell he's in pre-molt. So, we'll try my Kluge next. Alright, that's the Kluge right over here. Nice. <laughs> also known as the Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater. Looks very identical to the Fracta. But I guess as adults, you'll be able to really tell the difference between them. So this is why I keep them labeled. Very important. Now for El Para Hibana now. Okay, this is Pierre, mature male, El Para Hibana. This is his last feeding video uh, before he gets shipped out to uh, Vanille in uh, London, Ontario. So I've been very busy, didn't have time to ship him, but uh, I'll just feed him before we, he leaves on Monday. Good boy. You know, I'm going to miss him. But hopefully he's going to get me some good babies, just like um, Lawrence did. So that's what you're getting, Jason. It's approximately seven inches, six and a half, more or less. Pretty good size male. Alright, we'll start off with the smallest female I have. Uh, that's uh, Goma. Still LPs. Alright, Daniela, she's the middle. Raise this one up as a half an inch spiraling. Uh, it took around three years to get to this size. Uh, Daisy uh, that I got from K-Man. I just have to pay him uh, his money so I can get the uh, four and a half inch female G. Rosea red form. Looking forward to get that species. Because my other one was a male. There we go. She's pretty fuzzy. Yeah, look at all these red pink hairs on the Adam, and I think that's why they gave it the name Pink Salmon Pink Bird Eater. Alright, that's all the Lassidoras that I have now. Alright, Nandu Chromatis, the White Striped Bird Eater. That's Nadia. You haven't seen her in a while. I bet she's all good. Nandu Colorado Velosis which is the Brazilian black and white. Uh, it's the one that I react the most strongly to with our hairs. She's over there. And I'm not going to feed my tripepi. There we go, good girl. Because she's in premolt. Not me, he. It's Darius. Like my Fracta, you can be able to see the bluish bald spot and it's a good thing that I bought some cages from my local cane tire two liter plastic shoe box enclosures very good for rearing up your two to three inch juveniles alright here's Jade Pomphobedius antinus the Bolivian steely blue leg I got this one from the Colo 85 on arachnoboards, if you guys remember. 7 plus inch female. Now it's probably over 8. Well, around 7, 8. So gentle. Yeah, this is the largest pound foe that I have. And here's Nicola, the mature male Pomphibetus patayama 
It's also his uh, last feeding video. Uh, he's going to Casey Rule from uh, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. So, incidentally, it's like 43 bucks to ship there. But anyway, let's go feed him now. Oh, you're not interested? I want you to eat. Ooh, he's pretty mean. So you better watch it, Casey, when you uh, deal with him. All right. Not interested. Oh, well. That's still pretty cool, nonetheless. All right, here is uh, Alice, Polinobius muticus, the king baboon. Like with Rob's zillion, um, she suffered a bad molt where she had two uh, back legs. As I remember, Rob's zillion, two hind legs were missing, but still attacking like normal. Ooh, she is not happy. And that's why king baboons are really not meant for beginners. All right, and I think my memory stick is uh, pretty much full. Um, now we're going to try to feed Isabella the Formictopus cancerides, Haitian brown bird eater. So I can right away tell it's going to be a long feeding video from the looks of this. We've got a great attack so far. And here's Maggie from the groomers. Hey, girl. Yeah. I just look at her. Awesome. All right, so stay tuned for part two of this feeding video. Uh, I had to cut it off because the camera ran out of memory. So the part two is going to feature the pokies and all the other arboreals, the theraposisturmi, and it's going to be in HD. So hope you enjoy, guys, and wait for part two.